Well, hello, welcome back to my channel. It's Elisa coming to you from Beautifully Me and you. And you guys, you already saw the title. You see the penny challenge here on the table. It's time to count it up and see how much I have with two rounds of the penny challenge. And if that sounds like something that interests you, then let's get right into it. Okay, first and foremost, I do want to talk about the Penny Challenge being a free download as a PDF linked down below in my description. If this is something that interests you and you want to see about completing it, you can always download it down below for free and get right on it. Also, I did create this easy mini cash budget 1000 or less savings challenge planner. And in this planner, there's over 30 savings challenges listed. And the very first one in the book is the penny challenge. So if you want to purchase something that has the penny challenge, as well as several other trackers involved, then you can find this link below down in my Amazon storefront and get your hands on one. Every single challenge in this book is less than a thousand dollars. Um, some are as little as a hundred and some are all the way up to 1000. Okay. But they're all 1000 or less. Okay, now that we got all that out of the way, we're having a giveaway this video. As you guys know, I asked you to comment in my last video what you thought the total would be for the two rounds of the penny challenge. So I did complete the penny challenge once between the month of January and June, and then I completed again between July and now here we are in October. And so those two rounds are both inside of my penny challenge jar if you're new here, and I am gonna be buying me a refrigerator with the money that's in here. So that's that's what I've been hoping to do. All right, so let's go ahead and pour it all out on the table and get started. I've been keeping my penny challenge in this jar. So this might take some time. And at first, ugh, me in this top. <laughs> and at first I thought, um, maybe I should just speed all this up because there's so much cash in here. But you know what? I'm just gonna do it in real time. And chit chat with you guys. what you think about a chit chat? Okay, hold on. <laughs> Whoa. First of all, these bills are causing... First of all, this jar is causing a ton of pressure on my fingers going in there, and I feel like I'm getting scratches on my hands. Okay, that's probably not that big of a deal, but to me, it just feels like it is. <laughs> all right, hold on. So as you know, the first time that I did the penny challenge, I did swap it out for some larger bills. And um, I put it back down in here. Oh my. Wait, hold on. First of all, sorry for the loud noise. Okay. Wait. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this is the penny challenge. <laughs> My least favorite part is going to be counting up all these coins. Like, I cannot take it. When I'm done, I'll be putting the coins inside of Phineas and Fiona. Poor little Phineas. He's going to be stuffed to death. Like, he's going to be completely full. Anyway, let me stop playing around and sort these bills. Um, let's see. Should I put them in the cash tray? I put the cash tray up here because I was like, maybe I can utilize this. But, y'all, they're all curled up and weird. Oh boy, <laughs> this is a huge undertaking. If you know me, then you know that I'm not really a fan of all the ones. I really don't like a lot of fives either. They just take up a lot of space. Ooh, wait a minute, wait a minute. We didn't came up on a hundred, hold on. Um, they take up a lot of space and they're not a lot when you add it up, but they're just high volume bills, you know? They look great because you have like 200 bills but it's literally two hundred dollars you could just have two one hundred dollar bills like i don't get it <laughs> so for me mm -mm, i don't be wanting all these little small bills if i can help it i'm gonna be changing them out because i mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, i don't like it okay i think this cash tray is starting to get on my nerves um yeah we're not gonna be doing it and the reason is because the bills are so curled i think it's easier just to lay them on the table so let me do that. Hold on. Let's 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 get this off the table. Bye bye, cash tray. You know I love you, but not today. Okay, now let's get some organization about ourselves, cause we're <laughs> out here willy nilly doing stuff. Okay, the bills being curled is annoying. Um, 
let's see, 20s, 50s, 100s, 20s, 5s. Okay. Okay, I think I got a plan now. Okay, so some of these is like, eh, and then, eh. Okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Counting all these fives and ones, y'all. Ooh, it's just nightmare central. But you know what? Cash is cash, number one. And number two, by the time I count all this up, I'm going to get me a refrigerator. Okay, I'm not fancy. I don't need water on the door. I think I told you guys, if you've been here before, I want the milk on the door because the milk on the top shelf takes up all my space. And I like a lot of drinks up there. So I want the milk on the door. If I could find one like that, I don't even need a water dispenser. I don't need an ice dispenser. Mm -mm. I don't need all that fancy stuff. I'm pretty basic, girl. Um, but I do want the milk on the door. <laughs> something so simple is so important to me because I cannot stand how much space the milk takes or like I'll have a jug of milk and a jug of sweet tea unsweet tea because you know we don't need all that sugar but still you know what I'm talking about like a jug of tea um that they brew from the store and it'll take up almost my whole top shelf and that'd be getting on my nerves so yeah anyway okay this is what I'm chatting about refrigerator styles <laughs> Uh-oh, hold on. We didn't hit the jackpot. This is some big money. Let's see. One, 50. Come on over here. Uh-oh, I dropped some on the ground. Come on now. Come on now. Okay, here we go. Coming up on some big bills. Let me see. See how these all folded up? Uh, uh. Okay. And <coughs> You got to put some muscle behind that mess. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's see. So, yeah. I'm pretty excited to count this up. Um, and see what we got. Okay, so you guys, about my binders and cash envelopes and A6 envelopes. Have patience with me. My kids are out for fall break right now. And I kind of feel guilty sometimes, you know, when they're off break, they're off school and I'm out here making orders. Now, if I posted those binders, like I said, I would, I probably would have a lot of orders that I got to create. And right now I kind of, I dropped some more cash. I got to get off the floor. And right now I kind of um, zeroed out my queue so we can go do something fun. So yeah, you know, I'll be trying to spend some time with them and not be all about work and you know I had to go to my regular job yesterday so that kind of took away some of their time but um I feel like when I put out the Etsy items brand new items and I get a bunch of orders and even though I have a five to seven day turnaround I hate you guys to have to wait if I can help it you know and I definitely can help it by just delaying when I actually put those those products out so I'll probably put them out this weekend because this weekend you know, we would have already done our little fun stuff. And it'll be back to business as usual. Get your work on, boo. Get your work going. Oh, wait. Were those all ones? Yeah, okay. Oh, my goodness. This is so much better than before, though. Because remember last... I think it was last year. I counted up all my ones and fives. If you guys didn't see that, I'll put it up here. But I legit had like five hundred dollars in ones and somebody commented down in the um <laughs> down in the comment section this is fake i'm like what are you talking about if you've been here you've been seeing me throw ones and fives in here this isn't fake but i didn't even reply because i was like okay they were like this is fake bills i'm like okay they fake okay okay we'll say that <laughs> I, don't, I don't have time to be arguing about the obvious like i you know i just ain't got time i found the comment to be cut quite hilarious though hold on i gotta do the muscle move Ugh, geez to get the bills down on the table lay flat but in the cash tray they was really curling up so this might be better okay so wait, that one i might have muscled it too much let's see what this say okay Maybe next time I should go back to that big old jar. Remember what, for the ones and fives? If you watched that video, I had this big old jar. And one time, Gingy knocked it off the um, knocked it off the window sill and it cracked. And I just put tape on it. <laughs> I put some medical tape on it. And I rocked that for the rest of the year. 
but that big old mason jar, it was like a gallon mason jar. So it was huge and the bills didn't have to get, look at this. Did you just see that? Let me rewind it. Okay. Yeah, the bills didn't have to get crazy like this. They didn't bend up like this and this little bitty jar they had to bend up. So, um, okay, now I gotta get the money off the floor, hold on. Let me, oh no, I still got a little bit more, hold on. If y'all sticking with me through this sorting process, y'all the realists, because <laughs> we still gotta count all this mess when we get done with this. What in the world? And look at these fives. Just disrespectful all the way around, disrespectful. Lay down, I said lay down. Okay, hold on. Tell the hundred to, he need to lay down. All right, let me get the ones off the floor and then we'll start with the coins. Hold on one second. All right, this half fell on the floor. Let me get this together. Ooh, jackpot. <laughs> A 50's in there. Okay, hold on, let me see. All those are ones, yeah. Okay. It's all here. Let's start by counting the coins. I think I'm gonna put the silvers in Fiona, but the pennies, I'm gonna put them in back in that in that jar that the penny challenge came out of because you guys, Lofenius can't handle it. It's too much. Okay, hold on, let me sort all this. I got a calculator for our little running. I'm gonna speed this part up on you guys. I'm sure you don't wanna see me sorting out quarters and pennies. Okay, I think we have them all sorted. So um, one thing I did wanna mention is Sweet Kiki, I'll put her channel here on the page. She um, has been sending me a lot of videos that are talking about coins that you can find that are actually worth way more than what they're supposed to be. And so one of them is like this little bat if it has a certain symbol on this side, which I don't know what it is. I feel like it was a W right here in this area, but I'll insert the clip right here so you guys can see. Okay, you guys, there's plenty of these videos. This is about a quarter that's worth $20, and there's literally millions of them, he says, laying around. They would be quarters from 2019 to 2020. These are all the 2019 designs that you're looking for, and then these are the ones from 2020. Notice the bat. But most importantly, you turn it over to the front and it needs to have a W mint mark, which would be a little small W right there under God we trust. And so if you have that type of quarter, it can be work worth upwards of $20. Check it out. So yeah, I'm going to be looking for a lot of these um, like specialty types of coins that she sent me out of all of my coin collection because I have quite a bit, okay? But right now we're going to start counting it and I'm going to speed it up and then I'll come back and give you the number. We'll put it into the calculator. Let's start with the quarters. Before we get started, let's get little Fiona on the table because we're going to end up using her. We're going to end up putting the coins inside of her. She's only like about a halfway full, so I think she could take all this. Okay, so 51, 52, 
$4.90. So I have $24.25 plus $4.90 in dimes. So we're up to $29.15. All right, now on to the nickels. 10, 20. $1.50 in nickels. We're up to 30.65. And I'm gonna go ahead and put all these inside of Fiona and then I'll count up the pennies. We gotta cheat a little bit because it's gonna take too long. Let me shake her down. Yeah, she's about halfway full. Ooh, this little pig probably could hold over a hundred dollars. Maybe later in the year we'll do a giveaway to see what Miss Fiona can hold, how much she actually has, and we'll take her to the bank. But that's it for Fiona. Let's see about the pennies and see if we could fit it inside Phineas. That girl heavy now too. My goodness. Okay. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So a dollar ten in pennies. So total and change. We have thirty-one dollars and seventy-five cents. Let me see. Mr. Phineas' little snout come off. Okay, I got about halfway. Let's see if he can hold all these. He gonna be bursting at the seams, y'all. Hello, Phineas. Look. <laughs> he barely has enough room. I bet you he only holds about $3 worth of pennies. Because look. Oh, mm, goodness. Okay. Oh, my goodness. He's full to the brim. Wait, let me see if I can shake it down and get a snout on. Come on, Phineas. Come on. Work with me, buddy. <laughs> He like, I'm trying to work with you. You doing too much. Hold on. Let me get a little snout in there on top of all these pennies. Y'all, I better not break no nail trying to get this in here. Ooh, barely. <laughs> little buddy is busting. Look, look at the... <laughs> Why am I forcing this in here? There is literally like not room for one more penny. We're going to have to retire little Phineas until I take him to the bank and then dump him out. Okay, so that's it for the coins. Now we move on to the bills. Should I start? I think I'm going to do the ones last. Hold on. Let me see. Mm -hmm. All these crinkled up bills. Hold up. Hold up. Let me get this together. It don't look like a lot though. What about y'all? It don't look like it's two rounds of 700. Should be for around 1400, but I'll tell you, it don't look like that. Let's see how much we're gonna count up. I think I'm gonna start with this. It doesn't really seem like that much, but it should be at least, what? 667 and 667 is like, what, 1314? Maybe like $1,350 minimum. Okay, so let's count it up. And you know what? I don't like counting bills from the back. So hold on one second. Let me just rearrange this. Okay, there we go. I'm a front girl. I need to see the faces. Okay, 1, 2, 53, 20, 40, 60, 84. 20, 40, 60, 85. 
20, 40, 60, 86. 20, 40, 60, 87. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 800. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 9. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1,000. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. We getting there. It didn't look like much, but this is 1,000. You see what I'm saying? 1,001 bills would be like this. So I'm not saying I don't like to save ones, but I'm saying I don't want to save them for long periods. I think we should be condensing along the way because look, this probably is, this is fives and ones and this probably is $400 and this is a thousand. Yeah, no, I, the, the big bill, I mean, all the little tiny bills, I can't do it. I can't do it. It looked like a lot of money, but it don't be a lot of money. So I like to condense, but you know, I know smaller budgets have to save ones. Even me, I have to save ones because I get them and change. But eventually, I like to not put them in my binders and condense them some kind of way. Okay, let's move forward. I digress. Um, 1,000, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85. Hold on, we're going to get some ones. 86, 7, 8, 9, 90, 91, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. Okay, so this is 1, 2, 300. So we're up to 1,300. Now we got to count all this nonsense. Okay, let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Did y'all see your girl picked up exactly fifty? If you don't knock it off, fifty dollars. That, I couldn't have planned that one. Okay, let's see if this is 50 as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. Okay, so that's another 100. So we didn't make it up to 14. Huh? 1,400 in bills. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1,407. Ooh, y'all. Plus 1,407 equals 1438.75. Y'all, I'm going to have to look in the comment section before I close out this video. I'm about to take a break. Find the person that was closest to 1438.75 without going over and we're going to get them. Let's just do a round $10 gift card because I was going to do a giveaway from my next YouTuber's budgets, but I didn't purchase her downloads yet. So yeah, we'll do a $10 gift card. You could pick the savings challenge of your dreams. Okay, so <laughs> hold on one second. Let me take a break regroup and figure out all of who's supposed to win y'all this is fourteen hundred and thirty eight dollars with all them coins without the coins it was 1407 and i'm gonna use that to see if i can get a refrigerator for 1407 because the coins i already put inside phineas and fiona so hold on let me see if i can find the winner of the challenge Okay, I manually have to look, so I'm literally like looking through every single comment of anybody that got around that number. So hold on, I'm still looking. Oh, I see a 1424 from Miss Montavious. That's really close, but it's 1438, so we gotta find somebody that commented around there. I think there's 300 comments, so I'm gonna continue to look and I'll be right back. You guys, I had to use my pink post-it notes to make some notes. You, I'm over here dying laughing. Like, it, <laughs> it is 
such a close race. I decided I'm going to do a first, second, and third prize. We'll do first prize $20, second prize $15, third prize $10, because y'all was like, I mean, right in the pocket, the things that y'all had so close. So first, I'm going to give some honorable mentions. But before I do, the first person I want to say, I wish I had the dreams and aspirations of cute cat budget. She said she thought it was $2,587 in there. <laughs> I think hers was the largest guest. Thank you so much, boo. I wish it was in there, but no. Oh, but no, it is nothing like that. Okay. All right. So these are going to be in no particular order. These are just honorable mentions of those that, you know, y'all was right in the pocket. However, you weren't in first, second, or third place. First and foremost, we have devilishly cute and she guessed 1433. Okay. Second on the list um, that I had written down was Island Empress, and she guessed 1435. Oh, y'all was close. I'm saying y'all is some close ones. Okay, next on the list, I have um, Jamie Patterson. Hey, Jamie. Um, had $1,440. So yeah, there's that. That was a little bit over because remember again, we were at 13, no, 14.38.75. So that was only like a dollar and 25 cents over. Come on, that was really, really close. Let's see, we had Victory in Budgeting. I got to check out her channel. That sounds like a budgeting channel. And that had, she had 14.40.92. So that was only like $2 over. But remember, I said closest without going over. Um, next was Petite Cunningham and she had 14.36. That was very close as well. And then Myra Lugo Case had the exact same vote as Petite as 1436. Okay, now that we got the honorable mentions out the way, y'all, let's see. It was like, I was thinking for sure I knew it was this one person that won and then something else got closer and then something else got even closer. It's like so exciting for me. Okay, so in third place, it is... I don't know if I'm saying her name right, but she always watches my channel. Marike Dickerson. M-A-R-E-I-K-E -E Dickerson. She gets 1437. And I was like, oh, okay, girl, she won. Nope. Try again. That's third place. And that will be a $10 gift card. So reach out to me over on Instagram so you can get your $10. Second place is somebody that just barely outscooted Marike. Marike, and that is Meech Meech for $14.37.69. So Meech Meech, that little 69 cents pushed you over, boo. <laughs> so you'll be getting a $15 gift card. Head over to my Instagram, send me a message, and I'll get that right out to you. And that almost, I thought, was the winner until the winner slid in with just the perfect vote. And that is Carrie Millen. And she voted $1,438 and it was $1,438.75. Girlfriend was 75 cents over. If we was playing on the prices right, you'd be getting a, a win at double showcases because you was like right in the pocket. So anyway, that is it. I wrote them all down over here on my little chicken scratch post-it notes. I appreciate you guys for being here. This was so fun for me. <laughs> now I need to take all the money to the bank and go searching for a refrigerator. Maybe I'll bring you guys like along on a vlog style. If that sounds like something that interests you, let me know down in the comments. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, put this one single emoji right here, letting me know you're a real one. You guys, I'm filming this so early in the morning. The sun is rising from this side and bringing in all the light. I love it, but it's casting shadows. Like, sh like eh, 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 eh. okay, anyway. Um, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next video that I put out. Like the video if, it, if you found it interesting and then also share it with someone else who might need encouragement on how even saving pennies can add up to big dollars one day, okay? If you guys are interested in the penny challenge, don't forget, click the link down below either to visit my Amazon storefront and buy the savings challenge planner or download just the penny challenge for free and get to it. Okay, you guys, that is everything for this video. I appreciate you for being here. Carrie, don't forget to reach out to me as well over on Instagram, and I will see you guys very shortly. Take care.